If you're traveling sooner, though, you need to know about this weather situation we've got coming our way here. And that's why I'm in the First Alert Weather Center here with meteorologist Rachel Coulter. So we've got a First Alert Weather Day issued for tomorrow. It's good news for the lawns, but it may not be such good news for traveling, right? That's right. We've got severe, if not extreme, drought conditions across portions of the area. So we need the rain, and we're definitely going to get that rainfall here the next few days or so, but unfortunately this timing is not great if you have those travel plans. So first alert weather day is in place for our Tuesday. Heavy rain is likely, but we also could see a few storms and a strong to severe storm is going to be a possibility. It just depends on where you are and I want to outline where we have the best chance of that here in just a second. The system associated with this, it's eventually going to be moving eastward and overhead. That's off to the south and west of us still seeing tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. Tornado watch is just about to get expanded into Mississippi, so heads up if you have travel plans out that way or family out that way, big time system out there. In terms of our severe threat here at home, we have a level one out of five risk for strong to severe storms. So if these storms are able to intensify, the best chance of that taking place is going to be in our central and southeastern counties. And I would even say along and south and east of I-85 is going to be a better chance of having the fuel needed for some of those storms. It's going to be a low amount of fuel, but anything would help with some gusty, if not damaging wind gusts. They'd be isolated, but that's possibility in a brief and weak tornado. We also are running a risk for isolated or localized flash flooding that level one out of four risk for excessive rainfall. It really encompasses most, if not all of our area. So those are going to be our main concerns. Let's time this out for you. We had a few passing showers today, a few sprinkles on the windshield. That'll continue through the about 11 o'clock hour and then overnight waking up tomorrow morning, five, six o'clock. You'll notice the coverage of the rain already picking up. So if you still have to go to work tomorrow morning, tune in with Chief Meteorologist Al Conklin before heading out the door. He's kind of an updated look at radar, but also that hour by hour forecast because rain will be likely as we get towards the middle of the day. The afternoon hour still looking at mainly rain. When we have the opportunity for storms, that's going to be in the evening hour. So evening commute time frame. This is when you're going to be headed out the door and getting a start on those travel plans. We're going to have some really heavy rainfall setting up shop and likely even some storms, especially out to the south and west of us. We'll have a little bit of fuel to work with as these work through the Charlotte Metro around seven, eight o'clock and then eventually advance to the east as we get towards 11 o'clock. Still likely seeing rain across the area. We could see anywhere from about one to three inches of rain that two to three inch range. Notice this band that sets up shop over Hickory out towards Morganton and Shelby. It would be localized if we're able to get up to that three inch mark. But for the most part, you can see we get some much needed rainfall across the area tomorrow and some gusty winds. Ashwatauga, Avery County wind advisory in place tonight. That's going to go all the way through tomorrow night as we're looking for wind gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. If you haven't already, grab that WBTV free first alert weather app. You can check radar, turn your notifications on, and if you're traveling, have that location follow you. So whether you're in Mississippi or you're here in the Carolinas, you'll get any alerts that you need to know about. So Tuesday is our first alert weather day, high temperatures in the low 60s. We've bumped up rain chances ever so slightly on Wednesday, some lingering rain possible early, but I do think by five, six o'clock, we could get some additional showers to develop by the time that we get towards the evening hours. Here's the good news. There's your Thanksgiving forecast, mostly sunny, high temperatures in the upper 50s, and we'll be dry for our holiday plans. All right, thanks a lot, Rachel, and our first alert weather team's gonna continue